My friends, Sailor Malai here again. I guess you can tell I'm, I'm not on the boat anymore. Uh, yeah, I got down to Florida and I talked about getting in the um, St. John's River. And if you follow the map of the ICW, St. John's River is not part of the ICW. But anyways, uh, I got to Florida, said, since I uh, left North Carolina, it's probably been a good six weeks we've been on that boat. and uh, I had several different folks on there with me, my son, my wife, friend Thor, they all took turns babysitting me. <laughs> and uh, so we got it down there. And boy, we were wore out. Uh, those last two weeks was rough. 
lots of weather, uh, scared us a few times, and uh, yeah, uh, it, it was it was getting rough there at the end. Uh, but anyways, I had a few things, you know, by the time I got down there, hit Jacksonville, see what all my refrigerator had quit. So we lost all the food in the refrigerator. Uh, the toilet was broke. Um, I'm not sure what was wrong with the toilet. I've got to look into that when I get back. But I got, uh, I think the problem with the refrigerator was low voltage. Since we added uh, Steve, our autopilot, he drinks up the battery pretty good and it gets it just low enough. I think the refrigerator kicks off trying to save the battery. Well, I'd rather save the food than the battery, but uh, so I only have a hundred watts of solar. So I'm, I'm going to put a second hundred watt panel on there and I'll have 200 watts feeding the battery. So hopefully that's going to solve that problem and my refrigerator will hold up a little better. Uh, there's a few other odds and ends. I've got some uh, parts on that boat that I changed out. That it was cheap at the time and, I, and they were available at the time. So I, I put on some uh, galvanized parts on there. And while I was in the ICW in the Pamlico Sound, it wouldn't really matter. They'd probably last five years out there. But I'm, it's getting salty. <laughs> The closer I get down there, the saltier it's going to get. So I, I got to get those off of there. And I got all the stainless steel to replace it with. I just got to get it on there. So it seemed like a good stopping point. Plus the holidays were coming up and I wanted to be home for that. But anyway, I uh, found a place on the St. John's 45 miles south of Jacksonville and Green, Green Cove Springs. I found a marina down there that could haul me out. And so I just had them haul it out and put me on the hard. I'm gonna go back. I had a couple of pain issues too. I ain't sure what's causing that. It's probably something I forgot to do, but I got a couple of places that's bubbling. You know, and uh, the the uh, barrier coat's fine. It's, it's the just the color is uh, bubbling up a little bit. And I want to fix that before I get any further down the line. So I'm going to go back down, gather all my stuff together. I got solar panel, uh, been working on and making mounts for it. Plus, uh, I was uh, noticing every time I, every time I try to get out cheap, <laughs> Uh, don't do that on a boat. Just don't do it. It's not right. Um, I used some cheap wood where all of my gear for my uh, lines came down on either side of the... I used really cheap wood right there. I figured it was way up high. Rain is probably all it's going to get most of the time. And, and it stayed dry and it'd be good. And I can get away with it. You can't. You can't get away with it. So I've redone those things to put on the sides. And I got real wood this time. That one, they would have lasted, but it had been in horrible shape in another month. And those look so much better. I've got some pieces here that I, I'm going to mount my trampoline on. I got two tramps that go on the back on either side of the swim ladder. And I had one seat that I used some cheap wood on and the bottom of it started coming apart. So, you know what that comes to? That's a good lesson right there. Don't use the cheap stuff. And, uh, but I went ahead and rebuilt that uh, compartment lid and I'm, I'm re ready to go by. I got all my stuff together. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I still need to get a little bit of paint ordered and all that stuff, and I'll pile it all back in the truck and head back down there and do it over and put her back in the water and take off south again. Uh, so 
If I miss a video or two in the next couple of weeks, that's why I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to get this thing back together. So y'all stick with me, stay tuned. I might put out something just for sailing, just for the heck of it, and uh, see if I can come up with a, just a good video to watch. In the meantime, keep your fingers crossed, <laughs> pray for me. And oh yeah, I still got something wrong with my foot too. I got, a, I had an MRI on my foot. I still got a piece of wood in there somewhere and it's still aggravating the fire out of me. So I got to get that fixed before I go back down. So I'm on the run trying to find somebody that can dig out a piece of wood out of my foot that's healed up inside there somewhere. So hopefully it's all gonna work out. So. Y'all stay tuned and see what happens. All right, then.